Hello? Yeah. All right, where? All right. Thank you. I gotta go. Kelly's in with trouble. You are such a coward. <sighs> Going after my husband like this. It's not a witch hunt, Mrs. Stevens. That is exactly what it is. And you actually think that I've come here voluntarily to help you build a case against him. Honestly, it always goes more quickly if I ask the questions. I don't want this to go quickly. You want me to talk about Joel? You're going to have to drag me into court in leg irons. But here's what I will talk about. Me. Our baby's death was my fault. I had postpartum depression. The baby had colic. I wasn't sleeping well, so I took a sleeping pill. I slept right through my child taking her last breath. One room away, and I was sleeping. That is my fault. And I will live with that for the rest of my life, how I failed that little girl, how I failed my husband. Now what I want to know is, how do you justify what you've done? I don't have to. I'm upholding the law. And I may be the only one who is, since the coroner's report on your child has suddenly gone missing. My husband has done nothing except take care of me, my son, and prop me up better than any human being deserves. So you want to mess with me? Go ahead. But you mess with him? You better sleep with one eye open. Are you threatening me? Make a note of it in the file. Kelly. Joel, be cool. Don't say another word. Come on. How dare you? Going after a man's wife? She came to me, detective. Talk to my wife without a lawyer? Your wife's an adult, Stevens. She knew what she was doing. You're gonna have to control every move she makes. Joel, 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 come on, come on, come on, bro. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, man. Come on, let's go. So you arranged for people to buy, babe? Because it had this? It's our daughter's second autopsy report. What's it say? Oh, no, I haven't read it. Why haven't you read it? Because he's afraid I killed our baby. Kelly. It's the truth. No, it is not. I told you about the sleeping pill I took the night our baby died. I didn't tell you about one other time I took one of those pills. It was when Willie was a baby. I had postpartum depression then, too, and I wasn't sleeping, and so I was prescribed these pills. Kelly, you don't have to do yes, this, okay? Yes, I do, Joel. See, what I didn't know was that some people at some times have bad reactions to these pills. One night, eight years ago, I had a bad reaction. I got up without waking up, went to our kitchen, turned on the stove, and stuck my hand in the flame. And I left it there. Joel found me before it got too bad. And I promised him I'd never take a sleeping pill again. But I did take one last year. I was so desperate for sleep. It had been so long since that bad reaction, I just thought. So, when I woke up and our baby was dead, I had to face a simple, horrible possibility that maybe I did something and I didn't know it. And I've lived with that possibility ever since. And so was Joel. Kelly. You're a cop, Joel. You wondered. No, I didn't. You know I took that pill. When I went to look for the bottle the next day, it was in the trash. You had already thrown it out. You didn't kill our baby. You don't know that? Yes, I do. I am. Um, and I you took the sleeping pill. I found the bottle that night, not the next morning. And I was worried because of what happened the last time. So I, I watched you. I wanted you to get a good night's sleep. So I just watched you. You were watching me? You were so beautiful. It was so good to see you sleep. But I, um, I shouldn't have been watching you. I should have known better, Kelly. Because 
all the time that I was watching you, 10 feet away. Our little baby. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't anything you could have done. There is something I could have I could have watched my daughter. You haven't read this. You should have. What was your baby's name? Emma. Well, according to this, Emma had a brain aneurysm. It was bound to go off. Then, or in grade school, or as a young mother with three children herself. There was nothing you could have done. Even if she was in your arms, the little girl got dealt a bad card. So did you. Do you realize how long it's been since we've been out to dinner, just the two of us? Yeah. I could have taken you someplace better, though. It's where I get coffee. I don't care about the food. I just like being alone with you. I'd like it if we saw more of Dr. Hirsch. And not as a lawyer. Okay. And there's something I didn't tell you in there that I want you to hear. Okay. Thank you. What? You're saving my life.